Hey everyone, it's Anna here at D's with another beautiful kit for you for the spring season. And really this one you could use all the time, every day. You bought a lot of blueberries for the winter time, but they are not just for winter. You can use them all year long. And if you've seen blue is everywhere, all shades, it's gonna be popular for a long time. And you definitely are gonna love this kit that you can use so many different ways that incorporates blueberries. So what we've done is we've paired this really fun kind of mixed greenery stem. It's got everything on it. It's got fern, it's got like these fun little squiggles, all kinds of stuff. It's got leaves. It's a little bit bigger. So this is gonna be really nice if you're adding it to maybe a grapevine wreath or a boxwood wreath like I've got here. And then I've paired it with these really nice blueberries. We've used these quite a bit. They're all wired. They have a little leaf on them. Just a really nice, pretty blueberry. But you can see when they're put together on top, it's gonna look really nice on a wreath and it's gonna work great on a lantern. So I'm gonna kind of turn it upside down as a swag there. Just a really pretty one. That's a medium sized lantern if you have one at home. So what I'm gonna do is start by working with the greenery stem. I'm gonna set those blueberries to the side. I've already fluffed it out a little bit, but when you do fluff it, you wanna make sure that you bring a little bit kind of coming down. So that way, when you go to put it on your wreath, it's full and it doesn't just all shoot upwards. So bring some off to either side. Just make sure you kind of touch each stem, open it up. It helps it look more lifelike. And then when you go to add it on, it kind of gives you a nicer, fuller piece. So cut that stem. There's a little notch right there where they all the wired pieces come together. Don't cut above that. You don't want your stem to fall apart. You're just gonna chop it right there where that notch is. You're gonna set this aside and you're gonna work on your blueberries. So here I've got the blueberries. Same thing here, I've kind of opened them up already a little bit, but just all these leaves, all these blueberries are wired. So you just wanna take a little bit of time, fluff them out. The blueberries are actually two little clusters, just open them up, make sure they all face forward. And then you're gonna do the same thing down here, chop that stem right where that little notch is. And then you're gonna lay them one on top of each other. Since you've already fluffed them, you shouldn't have to do too much more fluffing once you put them together. But you might wanna bring like this fun little wire piece up here, maybe bring some fern forwards. And now you're ready to do your ribbon. I definitely wanna make sure to bring a blueberry kind of down too. So I'm gonna set this aside and work on my ribbon. For this one, I chose two different ribbons. First up is the two and a half inch navy check. This one just came back in stock. We love this all year long. It's got the two shades of blue, which is nice. It looks really good with the berries. We're just gonna take this and make a couple loops in our hand. Just make those loops about four to five inches. There we go. Now we're gonna cut that tail. Next up is this really nice colored green dot. It's kind of like a mossy clover green, just really pretty. It looks nice with the navy. It also pops with the white. We're gonna make a couple loops of that as well. Same size as the blue, cut the tail. Now you're ready to tie that with your wire. I'm using the cloth covered wire. The cloth covered wire that you need for this kit will be included in your kit, but if you would like to get some, it's up on the shoptieslouisville.com site in the floral supplies tab. So I've gone on and tied that off in a knot, and now I'm ready to attach it to my stems. So if you're attaching this to your lantern, I'm gonna show you real quick over here first. You're gonna actually turn everything upside down. You want that smaller part to be going up towards the top and then the longer part can kind of trail down your lantern. So if you're doing it this way, you'll just flip it completely opposite and now you're ready to just tie your bow right there in that little gap. So if you're gonna put it on a lantern, I'm just gonna twist it on here real quick so you can see. Look how pretty it looks up on top there. So you can just move everything around and then your longer tails will be coming down. The whole bulk of it will be kind of drifting off to the side. Now, if you're putting it onto a wreath, whether it's a grapevine wreath or a boxwood like I've got hanging here, you're gonna do the exact opposite. You're gonna just take that piece. You're still gonna tie the bow in the gap. You wanna make sure to get some of both of the stems twisted on. And now you're ready to twist it on like a full piece onto your wreath. What's nice about this is both those stems are nice and big and full, so it adds a lot. So if you have a plain grapevine wreath, 
it would really help fill it in and look nice for your front door. So I'm just gonna move everything around and now I'm ready just to cut those tails. All right, there we go. Perfect, it's ready to go, all twisted onto your wreath. You can move everything around if you want. Make sure the blueberries are out front and center. And this is another great kit that we've made available to you up on shopdeesouisville.com.